Let's take a deep dive look into the new Knowledge Check feature in Adobe Captivate 9. You can remediate with Knowledge Checks, and in fact, that's their purpose. A Knowledge Check is a question that you ask at regular intervals, periodically, and generally Knowledge Checks are not used in any way to provide summative feedback. Knowledge Checks do not contribute to the overall quiz score. They're simply a way for you to kind of see has the learner picked up on this basic concept? Here you can see I have a project set up and this project has three knowledge checks. Two of the knowledge checks are knowledge checks where I give feedback after the slide. One of them is where I give feedback on the slide. You can see that I've got two group slides and those are the ones where I give the feedback separately. To open up a group of slides, I'll click on this little toggle to open the group so I can see it all. Here you can see that for this feedback solution, I start with a content slide teaching the concept, the sky is blue. Then a multiple choice knowledge check. Note the knowledge check icon denoting that this was a knowledge check slide. To insert new knowledge check slides, I click on slides under the big plus menu and then choose knowledge check slide. You can choose from any type of question slide, and that slide will be allocated as a knowledge check slide. I ask the knowledge check question. Once the knowledge check question has been asked, I need to make sure that I've configured the quiz response properly for going back and forth. So in this case, the action for on success is to jump immediately to the next slide. I do that because I do not need to provide any additional feedback. I simply need to jump to the next slide. Now the failure message is slightly different. In this case, I give only one attempt, and after one attempt, I give no failure message. Instead, I jump to slide on the last attempt. Now it may seem to you, hey, wait a minute, this is going to mean that they can only try this once. But the way that we have this set up, it actually means that every time they try and fail, it will automatically jump to slide two, which in our case is the slide that teaches the concept. So every time they choose the wrong answer and submit, they'll go back to the knowledge area teaching slide, and only when they actually answer the question correctly and submit will they go on to the next slide. And so that's how that works. I'll go ahead and close my group up again, and now I'll take a look at the one where the feedback is given instead. So here in this case, I've inserted a true-false knowledge check, and we'll go over again to our quiz slide parameters and take a look at how the quiz is set up. Now in this case, I've said that on success, I wanna go immediately to the next slide. Again, this is the same basic approach as before. But now instead of giving only one attempt, I've given three attempts, and I've set my failure message level to three. Then by setting it to three, I've created three failure message captions. When these first appear in Captivate, you'll see a failure message caption appear that will look largely like this one. But as you bring in three, all three of them will stack one on top of the other. I like to move them out from each other so that I can easily see them. And it's handy to know that this one, the third one, is always going to be on the top, the second one will be the next one down the stack, and the back one, the furthest one down the stack, will be the first one that the learner sees upon failure to complete the slide correctly. So let's take a look in preview at what this project would look like as we navigate the knowledge checks and remediate in those two different ways. One, to jump to a knowledge content area, and two, to actually go through and, uh, uh, and the second option, to actually go through uh, and uh, give feedback live. So here's our multiple choice question. In this case, we want to answer the question incorrectly. So the sky is not red, so I'll choose red and submit. And you see it takes me right back to the slide that teaches that the slide is the, the sky is blue. Now, I also know that the sky is not green, so I'll submit again, and again, I'm taken back. Now remember, I only get one shot at this question, but because the failure response is to jump back, I automatically am taken back each time. Now I'll choose the correct answer, blue. When I submit the correct answer, I get the well done feedback, and that's provided there as part of that three slide set in the group.
Now I'm moving on to my true false. In this case, the true false has been set up to remediate with feedback messages. One plus one is two. Well, that is true, so I will choose false and I will submit the answer and the first feedback bubble pops up. Not quite. Try adding the integers together. So I'll try again. Now this time I'm going to answer false again because I'm a little crazy. I click on submit and I get the second answer feedback. Not exactly. Think of it this way. If one plus one is two, then you should choose true. Wow, I'm getting pretty bold with my hints. Click submit. Uh, and uh, one more time, I'm going to choose false and then submit. Wow, you're kind of thick, aren't you? Just pick true and move on. Here we have that same grouping solution. I'm learning that a circle is what I should be choosing. I'll choose the triangle just to be stubborn. I click on submit. I'm taught that this is a circle again. I try the Pentagon option. Absolutely not. This is still a circle. I must choose the circle in order to move on. And so that's knowledge check questions with varied feedback, either by looping back using a jump to or by giving feedback directly on the slide. Thank you.